Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course, the subscriber right now. It's been a while. I know it's been a long time. I've not been that active here because of the copyright strike. I go from the zone. I've tried to reserve, uh, reverse it, but somehow they're not listening and I didn't get a response from them. You know, they took my two of my videos down without any fight footage just a picture um of the fight and i decided not to be covering uh uh these own fights like that unless i'm really am willing to do a video, a video like reaction to the fight but in this case it's different because i think the are reasonable you, you cannot just take the picture down you know um from a fight and also, I, I see some people do what they do is that they react hours after a fight or they go live and basically just, you know, don't show their face or show the picture of the fight. It's just kind of confusing. I don't know when that became a crime, but this on automatically fla just flags um, channels down, flags videos and then remove or remove, remove. Automatically, they do that. But when you try to restore it, reinstate it, Tell them to reinstate it. They don't. They don't do that. YouTube tell you to contact them, and when you do, and they don't respond. When they respond, it's only about their. It's only about their services. It's a little bit frustrating, but I get it. Anyways, I have to talk about this right now because I think, um, I have to say that. Where where what is next for you? Is it really over for Joe Joyce? So, Joe Joyce lost to Derek Chisora. It was a big, huge upset. You know? I tell you right now, I didn't. Also, I didn't foresee uh, Derek Chisora beating Joe Joyce. I thought it was going to be a very tough fight, but Joe Joyce will eventually overrun, overweigh him, and stuff like that, overrun him. So, I know Chisora gas out. He's a warrior. He's a fighter. He, no matter how tired he is, he always go to the toe. And funny enough, Chisora is the only one to have given a. Chisora is the only one to give a. Um. Only one to give. Was a Usyk a hard fight, basically. You know. So, the only guy to give was obviously a hard fight in the every division he gave him a hard fight and he almost won the fight if i'm not mistaken so chisora no doubt has submitted himself you know in the division he still has two fights left before he, he called it off call it quit um for joe joyce i know the age i think he's 38 now there is like 40 if i'm not mistaken chisora has been fighting forever you know he's been in many tough wars he's lost a lot of a lot of fights some fights he could have won should have won but because it doesn't have the the name in every division you have to have the boxing you know you have to have a name so sometimes you have a name and they favor you if you are the darling of the division or darling or one of their darlings they would favor you because you said more tickets and stuff like that this is why some people don't understand how chisora can get fans to watch his fight every time win lose or draw well that's because each time he goes into the ring he literally put his life on the line and he's not scared to let it go he throws he like he's very competitive he's not a a johnny man he's just gonna go there and batch up anyhow and knock out in one two rounds no he will give you a hard fight he will come to fight so if he was just a guy that gets in there and then get beat two rounds then yeah people will be watching it but the guy is a very 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 interesting guy hot character resilient bro he's been through all you know you have to give him credit for that now joe joyce my brother i love joe joyce a lot because of his humility and the way he is where he comes off is very 
is very admi- uh, admirable. You know, when you look at Jojo, is the way he is as a person, quiet, doesn't like trash talk, stuff like that. He, yeah, you can sometimes say, "How? Oh, why is Jojo too gentle?" But he's not a gentle. It's just how he is. He was brought up well by his mom. You know, um, his mom, you know, taught him how to be well cultured and humble staying yourself you know so being yourself stay through to your roots and stuff like that now i have to say that this is very interesting though where does you just go from here does he still have a chance in becoming a world ever champion and can he continue to fight tough fights but chisora is not on jojo's level let's be right here jojo should be beating chisora locking him out in fifth fifth or sixth round busy Gas. At the end of at the end of third round, Chisora was gas. But somehow, Chisora is a guy that always he has a resilience. He doesn't go out of there. People are saying, well, maybe Jojo is, 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 is done and done. I don't know. I think Jojo need a mind a mind reset. That fight against Janjile literally ruined his confidence in him. So the confidence in himself. So Jojo can take a punch. But the way he took it in the past and kept coming forward was different. It's now different. So now he takes a punch. Even he took a lot of punches, a lot of over right hands from Zero Lingo down. But he took a punch, didn't see coming. And it was not an over right hand. Which is a snappy right hand that basically it was a counter. I didn't even know he was going to throw that kind of punch. He didn't time it. He just threw a punch. He just didn't see that coming and he, and he dropped the joys. And then in the tenth round, you just sleep. Um when I look at this though, I just say, listen, the just is not done yet. But I think the competition, where he wants to be to, where he wants to get to, where he wants to where he wants his career to head to, is, I think that may be difficult to reach after this losses. It will be difficult. Because you look at just now, a guy that re- literally beat Dubois and beat Joseph Parker, stopped Dubois and stopped Parker, becoming the first man to stop Parker. It looks like a shell of himself because Jan Lee did a lot of damage. I don't know who I've actually seen Jan Lee fight, but I didn't think he was going to beat Jan Lee. I didn't think so because I thought, okay, Jan Lee is very good in the early rounds and stuff like that. But he usually get tired. But I didn't I didn't factor in that the fact that Joe Joyce himself doesn't he throws a lot of punches, but the punches he throws is not with the intention to hurt you. It's just like he's throwing it. You're feeling it. His jab is very effective if he uses it. We saw how he used it against Dubois and he stopped Dubois, right? So but somehow, John Delay just took that resilience from Jojo twice. No, he stopped just twice. So that resilience, that punch resistance is basically gone. Because if Jojo was in with a guy like Joshua tonight, last night, it would have been, it would have been like, come on, it would have been over easily. So I think Jojo is I would say, yeah, needs a long layoff, but no, having a long layoff at this age wouldn't help him. So what he can do is get back to the gym, start training, just fight somebody that, you know, that is not on the level you want to be, to build that confidence up and then go again at some point. But he doesn't have a lot of time left. You know, he's 38 now. So you can say, well, how long does he have left to be at the top and to get to where he wants to get to? We know Jojo wants to become an undisputed world champion. And it was, that it, that, that's what he wants to be. To become undisputed at this age would be very difficult. Because we have a lot of young guns now. So you look at Jojo's resume right here. You know, 16... Wins 15 knockouts, three losses. 
bitches are resin make. Thirty five wins, twenty three knockouts, thirteen losses, four four van knockouts, thirteen losses, bro. You you guys have to understand why you keep wondering why Chizora always gets this fight. Because of how you how you fight. That's the reason. Well, Chizora's last two fighters have been back to back wins though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Against Jerry Washington and Joe Joyce. And he's not stopping in time soon. I think he's, he's, he said he has two fights left. Two fights left. For you to love. Well, I'm very sad in a way, but I'm happy for Chizora. But I'm sad for George because I did want to just to win. This is just this just took him back, five steps back to his goal. But it's what it is. It happens, and yeah. I hope he bounces back. Uh, Chizora is older than Joyce and still doing what he's doing at the age of 40. Joyce is 38 now. It's just that the way Joyce fights, you know, is what is going to be very difficult. Because he fights on a slow pace, slower pace than most fighters. And that's the problem. That's the problem. I don't understand the rule. Yeah, that's great. Thank you guys for watching about it. God bless you all. What do you guys make of this? Joyce, and where does he go next? Who would you like? Why do you, if you're to be Joyce's manager or promoter or a matchmaker, where, what, what route would you tell Joyce to embark on? Should he continue to spread? Carefully, you know, he get into his goal, or he should go all, all out in, all out in, and don't care about what comes, and just take any fight um, to get to his goal as soon as possible. What do you guys think? Hit us below. Like the video, share, subscribe. Bless you. Cheers.